Hey, my water signs. This is who am I? Terabay. That's who I am with Flirty Savage Spirit. And this is going to be your energy check in. Just see what's going on with my water signs, my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box at www.flirtysavage.com as well as where you book and schedule, okay? So let's see. What information does my water signs need to know what's going on with my loves, my water signs? Let's see what the business is. Strength. The card of Leo is here. Taking a risk. The fool is here. And then conclusion, which is the world is here. All right. Oh, God. I almost hurt myself. Okay. So strength, risk, and conclusion is here. The end. Chapter one and then the end. All right. So it looks like that there was a something that you took a risk on. The obvious, right? That is either the chapter is coming to an end, which I feel like this is a chapter in the book is coming to an end that it may not be the end of the complete story or maybe like a, a cycle that is coming to an end on some type of you, you try to stand in your strength and feel like that you could, you know, take take this leap of faith or you could do something. But phase one of whatever that situation is, is coming to a, is is coming to an end. Um, here or has already came to an end that's here something that you may have been passionate about something that you was trying to create something in and, and this could be coming to an end on a high note or or a low note we're going to look into see exactly what it is but definitely a, a situation of where it had a lot of potential that is here and you were trying to tap into because this is even like the tree that's here so that's connecting to the earth which unlimited potential that's here um, of that you were so that's why I don't feel like like this story is completely over I just feel like that you may have hit a milestone or comp accomplished a goal or are reevaluating how to do something that you initially started out on this was a new beginning of something that was that was originally started that you know um, you are concluding right now so show me why is strength here show me why is strength here so high priestess following your intuition some secrets that's here page of swords is here in reverse and then the three of wands is here okay so i feel like that it's something this risk that you possibly could have taken you may have or maybe feeling like maybe you misinterpreted what um you were feeling in regards to them that connection to spirit or or you didn't really get all of the secrets that was coming or you're still waiting for what was being withheld from you also feel like some of you guys got some bad information from like a tarot reader or a psychic or something that may have told you to do something or something wasn't going to happen but whatever that was originally told to you by somebody it could not ne don't necessarily just have to be a psychic but could be like your homegirl, your homeboy, your uncle, mother, cousin, brother, sister, brother, you know, somebody could come and be like, oh, I had a dream about you and such and such and such. So you took a, a risk and reached out to this person and maybe that that risk and you reaching out to, to them showed you that um, that 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 chapter in your life has concluded or you're still waiting for them to contact you back. But you was told that if you reached out that they would they would actually contact you back. So what I'm getting here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I'm also just getting a, a certain expectation that was here with this strength card. Um, so you was trying to stand into your passion, your knowledge, your um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like, you know, I got this, but you may not have had all of the information that you needed when you actually started this situation like it seems like it was a lot of uncertainty or, or some clarity some more clarity that was needed but you kind of went and jumped into something with the information that you had available to you at the time and maybe not doing um, a lot of research or not really looking at what this person was giving you or you didn't really look and see 
if this company was a legit company before you went and worked for them or something of the sort like that is what I'm getting. Show me why risk is showing here. Why risk is showing here. So page of cups, that's your energy. Uh, what is this? Not King of Pentacles that's in reverse. And then we have the Five of Swords. Okay, interesting. Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, and then the Five of Swords. I feel like this is was a financial, this may possibly be like something to do with finances, work, job, or either lending somebody some type of money. Because um, it seems like that you was trying to take a risk out of the kindness of your heart or just being a little bit immature or impulsive in the decision that you made. Um, and it's definitely causing you some mental conflict that's here. It's like you was trying to win at all costs. You were trying to do whatever it needed to be done. This strength card, you know, whatever that you need to do in order to make some shape. You was and you was willing to do it, but it it it. It may have been a little bit immature, impulsive, or premature is what I'm trying to say. Premature, it's something about with this risk, this, this leap of faith that you kind of like, or this jumping into something. Because I don't feel like it was a leap of faith. I think you may somebody may have been telling themselves that it was a leap of faith. But it was more like I just jumped in because that's how I felt in the moment. Like I was trying to be the better person or I was trying to you know, um, look strong or be strong or not let this situation kind of like control me. So why is conclusion here? Show us why conclusion is here. Why is conclusion here? Ten of swords, which is another conclusion card. Okay, well, we got that much. Stabbing in the back, some betrayals. Um, nine of cups, somebody was after what they wanted. And then the knight of wands, because... They were not to be trusted. They was a flighty ass person. So, so far, what I'm getting is, is that someone definitely took a chance to either reconnect with somebody, reach back out to somebody, or just, you know, um, either holler at their crush, you know, say, hey, can I go out on a date with you? But it seems as though something that as quick as it began, as quick as it ended, like that chapter kind of like closed, like real quick. Like if you see on here, there's no pages. It's like two pages in between. And then it's like, yeah, chapter one, Harry met Sally. Then, you know, like it didn't really, whatever the situation was, it didn't really get off the ground is what I'm getting. Like it was, it was very much so premature, uh, you know, maybe you, 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 you had a crush on somebody and maybe you got a reading or somebody told you that the person was single, but they actually wasn't single. So you took a risk and reached out to them, but it came back and bit you in the ass. Um, somebody else, it could be the, the fact that you took a risk to reach back out to somebody from your past and it just didn't go like you're still either waiting for them to respond back to you or either it was like they kind of one worded you in their response back to you or it just really didn't really go anywhere or it hasn't so far. It hasn't went anywhere quite yet is what I am getting. Huh, that's very interesting, but definitely some type of risk that some type of jumping into something you, you jumped in with not enough information. So that's the reason why it seemed like this chapter is is closing i just don't feel like hey, again that that's the end of the book um i think that this is just the end of the chapter that's here so for some of you guys your next chapter is going to involve someone else for other you guys you could be writing chapter two with this person or you write chapter two and three and then this person come back into the story in chapter four is what i'm getting Let's see what other messages do we have oh anxiety over a soulmate or someone that you felt as though maybe you have been told that was a soulmate, someone that you are definitely highly intensely attracted to that's here. So um, I, I feel like that some of you guys may be in anxiety because you're not understanding like why isn't this person talking to you because you're like you are my freaking soulmate like don't you know this? So how, like, I don't understand what's the disconnect. Everybody, every reader that I talk to, they tell me that you're my soulmate. So like, what's the problem? 
we are so attracted to each other. Like, oh my God, Becky, look at my butt. Like, I just can't. I'm stressing myself out because I just don't understand why you don't understand and see that I am your freaking soulmate and we supposed to be together. So I need for you to freaking act right. Like, I, it's just kind of, it's a little bit demanding, a little bit energy. I'm sorry, but that's the way it's feeling to me. Like, I don't understand. So I'm stressing myself out. Um, but there's a lot of attraction that's here, but I feel like that you are trying to attract in as well. Your soulmate, for those of you guys that don't actually have a boo thing right now or somebody that's not popping up in your head when I'm talking about this, I feel like that you're maybe stressing yourself out over the fact that you are trying to manifest your soulmate into your life. Um, you know, I don't know why, but I just keep hearing, you know, comment if you're doing law of attraction or trying to manifest or attract your soulmate into your life that you may get better results by trying to or to, to just reword it a bit and take out soulmate and actually put in companionship or put in um you know someone that that would be compatible with you that are on the same emotional level with you someone that is emotionally available but maybe you need to take out the word soulmate because just because somebody is your soulmate doesn't mean that they that was going to be an easy relationship for you actually soulmate and twin flames are very difficult relationships majority of the time because there's a lot of mirroring and healing that needs to take take place in the situation so maybe just kind of you know change up your wording or your thought process when it comes to that maybe you just you know hey send me my life partner the person that is supposed to be for me that's ready to be with me right so show me why is anxiety showing here show me what's up with this anxiety the tower something feel something got canceled um two of swords is in reverse three of cups is in reverse so Definitely seem like an ending or a sudden change to some happy times or some happy thoughts or what you may have thought at some point in time was going to be your person. Um, it definitely seems like that there is a change to a viewpoint, uh, and but some clarity got brought to the situation, though. So the clarity got brought to the situation and you just realize that, you know, this is this this is this is not what you wanted it to be like. This is not maybe the answer that you wanted. But something you're you have an anxiety as well over some type of change, some type of, of falling down of something, some something, something quick and, and, and you know, sudden just kind of like hit you and it, it hits you hard. It hits you real hard. With it too. See, what's up with this soulmate, though? Why is soulmate showing here with anxiety? Let's see. We have the fool in reverse immature ass energy no communication with this ace of swords and then the six of swords going back to somebody um, or going back to some type of confusion or going back to the drawing board with something so i feel like again this is this is this soulmate energy is what you are trying to call in or you're not understanding if you feel as though that this person is your soulmate like why aren't you acting like my freaking soulmate like uh <laughs> kind of wake up call that you need because I'll set it for you okay um cancer scorpio pisces so this is a lot of air energy that's here so you definitely could be possibly dealing with an air sign so I also get that a lot of uncertainty like a lot of a lot of immaturity impulsive premature like all of that stuff is just like making a decision before you had all of the right information like it's just like a hasty ass backwoods hustling backwards you know like type of situation that's here this is this is a lot this is a lot why is this attraction here and i and i say it's a lot because i feel like that it's it's kind of reading some of you cancer scorpios and pisces about something and i know y'all gonna hate me for this because Y'all only want to hear the good shit and make it seem like that the other person is in the wrong and you're unaccountable for anything. You know, that's how we all are, especially when we're reading these, watching these readings and stuff. We want to hear what we want to hear. Right. So as far as the attraction, there's there is definitely heavy attraction. We have, again, high priestess is showing up again for the umpteenth million time seem like. So following intuition, following tarot card readers or following your own intuition you know um 
trying to manifest something, looking into your crystal ball uh, with this attraction here. This is definitely this uh, attractive king of wands. He's he's very, very passionate. He's very a hunk of hunk of, if you can see the picture on there. He he's definitely well versed, very, very well traveled. Like, you know, who wouldn't be attracted to this man? Right. Um, the five of cups is in reverse. So I feel like with the traction card and then these three sets of cards, it's saying that you don't want to miss another hunk of hunk. You don't want to miss another sexy thing. You know, you don't want to miss that you're wanting. And maybe that's why the high priestess is coming up here, because it could be that you are secretly attracted to this, this person, this sexy ass energy. And you're trying to figure out how to reel it in, how to, um, get it you know like I don't really want nobody else I want this person that I am so heavily sexually attracted to because again I told you this is my soulmate like how dare them not act like my soulmate right uh, don't take me seriously y'all I'm a little bit too much when I want to be I know I want to get these cards right here so so far basically what we got is a lot of premature um, energy, Im immature, premature decisions, uh, that's here. Something that was, you know, someone in the moment was, was trying to be strong, was trying to, to make something shape, but it just didn't work out in your favor. I don't feel like that you guys are going to, of course, be in this forever energy. That's just seemed like the energy that, that is surrounding my water signs right now, but this too shall pass this storm too shall pass. Um, but it came to bring you a clarity about what it is that you're actually asking for and what it is that you're actually wanting. It's what I am definitely seeing here. Date night, medical, mental issues, gifts, money, or save an offer coming in. And then creation, new beginnings, um, and pregnancy is here. So don't let this, if you end up, you know, um, you know, going out or something like that. Um, some of you guys could definitely very well be going out on a date night and end up uh, with with some medical issues called a pregnancy, you know, <laughs> uh, they have a mental issue. Of, oh, my God, I'm freaking pregnant. So that could be the gift that ends up coming in is because you're pregnant or you get somebody pregnant. So if you don't want to get nobody pregnant. You might not want to be in a, I might get you pregnant situations. OK, Um and maybe that's the risk that it's taking about you you jumping into something. So that dating kind of comes to an end. That chapter comes to an end because now you guys are co-parenting together. You're having to to jump into, you know, the, the the next chapter. Or it could mean that you take this this chance on somebody and, you know, try to stand in your strength and your passion because they're a hunk of hunk of and or a sexy thing. And you is really wanting, you know, um, something stroked. <laughs> and uh, or to stroke something and then it ends up turning out that you know if you're a female you end up pregnant but you end up being a single mom because you you know jumped into this risky ass hasty ass premature ass decision where you didn't really think things out like to protect yourself or what would you do and it's like this wasn't even on your mind that's here uh, for others of you I feel like this is going to be a welcome pregnancy um, that's here that, but there, there may actually end up being like maybe some, some complications, maybe, especially if you guys were in a situation of where you was having complications with getting pregnant before now could be your time. You're in the energy of now is your time. Once you take that stress off of yourself, of just trying to make it happen and to make it happen your way and, and releasing that stress. And that's when you end up getting what you want closed gate is here balance is here uh gift is here twice okay now this is ending on a higher note um making music is also here so definitely making music again for me is is that sweet love okay um you know or it could be like songs or somebody write a song about you some type of balance is definitely going to come back into your life over a decision that was made that could have closed a chapter closed the gate close the door um there's there's definitely going to be balance that's going to be restored especially with i thought i seen the temperance card somewhere up in here maybe that was the last reading but there's definitely going to be a balance that's going to be restored in your life and you're going to be gifted something in some type of way or someone is going to 
give you some type of gesture or gift that reveals their their actual true feelings for you that could create a new beginning for you so not all hope is actually lost for all of you guys my water signs i hope you guys stuck it out with me to the end because hey it it did you know twist back around to be in your favor at the end but i will say you know for your energy check-in this this seems to be more about like checking your own energy and about what your expectations are and making sure that when you're making these decisions in this energy that you're in right now, that you have all of the information that you need. All right, my water signs, I'm going to wrap that thing up. Hey, 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 don't click off. Don't click off. Click the subscribe button first. Then you can click off. Okay. <laughs> all right. And until next time, y'all.